of Brian Tropy, a big round of applause. your organization's great work. On the stage, I'm joined by my city councillor for the Rideau-Carlton Raceway, Councillor Doug Thompson. Now, do we have anybody here from Rideau-Carlton? Oh, come on, you're from Ottawa, you traveled all the way down here. Anyone here from Rideau-Carlton? That's what I like to hear, Dalton McGinty's hometown. And our crew from Rideau-Carlton Raceway showed up at Mr. McGinty's office. They have 400 people trying to tell that downtown liberal elitist who would rather sip latte than a Tim Hortons cup of coffee, that his destruction of rural Ontario has got to stop. Now ladies and gentlemen, I am here today also with Lisa Thompson, who defeated the former Agriculture Minister Carol Mitchell. We knew in the last election, we knew in the last election of the assault by this McGinty Liberal government. It's not just in the horse racing industry where there's lots of jobs. It's the Green Energy Act. It's independent school bus operators. They have forgotten what our way of life in rural communities is all about, and you're here today to remind them. Now, I don't need to tell any of you that 60,000 jobs are at risk. I don't need to tell you that racing makes about $1.5 billion in wages. I don't need to tell you that people in our communities use our racetracks as a community center. In the Reno Carlton Raceway, they play host to the Gloucester Fair. Now let me tell you something. Garfield Dunlop from the Ontario PC Caucus and Monty McDonald from the Ontario PC Caucus have been making your case. The reality is we're going to face a budget tomorrow with lots of tough choices. Hold it's going to be difficult for every Ontarian because of the mess this Liberal government has put us in for the past nine years. Now, now ladies and gentlemen, before, before I finish, I have one more appeal. Throw them out. I want you to throw Thank them you. out. That's for sure. But here's what's going to happen. This process doesn't end tomorrow. Rural Ontario will continue to live on, but your voices need to be strong so that those Toronto Liberals will hear you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I would now like uh, my councillor colleague, T Doug Thompson, and my other colleague, Lisa Thompson, no relation, two different ends of the province, to say a few brief words, but if I would like to point out somebody at the back. Wave your hand, Dave Brister. This is a fella who ran for the Ontario PCs, who's fighting for a racetrack in his community, and Dave, it's great to see you here, Mr.